If you listen closely, there's a symphony of sound at the Lassen National Forest. There's the bubbling of Bumpus Hell Volcanic Pit, the call of the songbirds, and then there's this. Just below Bernie Mountain, a ballet of satellite receivers are in the middle of an intricate dance. Welcome to the Hat Creek Observatory, a science lab listening for aliens. The, the acronym is called SETI, which is the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. This is John Richards, lead observer for SETI. You guys are looking for aliens. We're looking for radio signal evidence of aliens. The Hat Creek Observatory was built by astronomers at UC Berkeley in the 1950s. Then, in the early 2000s, big companies like Dell and Microsoft dumped a bunch of money into the facility and installed 42 of these radio receiving dishes. So, if, if I hang out here long enough, are you guys going to be able to read my thoughts? No, sorry, not, wrong frequency. Today, a private organization by the name of SRI pays the bills, and the nonprofit group SETI uses it to scan the skies. Why do you have so many of these? We have so many of them, we spread it up, and they all combine uh, electronically into one, uh, the equivalent of one large dish. The combination of dishes is called an array, and they were built in the Lassen Forest for a reason. So we don't get a lot of the radio frequency interference because they're far away, and also we have these, these uh, hills and mountains in the way. Without radio interference on Earth, the receiving dishes can listen for signals in solar systems light years away. We use this um, effect called the Doppler effect. The process is complicated, but basically, the dishes are programmed to listen for stars every 90 seconds. If it picks up a radio signal, it alerts scientists. Every time that's ever happened, which has been half a dozen times, we've ruled it out. So you haven't found anything so far? I haven't found anything so far. Researchers at SETI have been scanning the galaxy for over a decade. Now, that may seem like a long time, but you have to remember, there's a lot of stars in the sky. Billion, hundreds of billions of stars in our own galaxy, right? And we're just looking at this one little, 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 little section. Searching for alien radio signals is clearly a daunting task, but somebody's got to do it. What you're saying is this could take decades. It could, could take decades or hundreds of years, who knows. You gotta think about it this way. If no one is listening for aliens, we may never hear them. Alright, so unfortunately uh, I didn't hear any aliens on my trip, but uh, you can try for yourself. Come on down to the Hat Creek Observatory Monday through Friday. Gates are open from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Get this, you can listen for free. Hey, thanks for watching and watch more videos just like this. Also, write in the comments where I should be checking out next.